In the year 1809, when Modibo Adama founded the Adamawa Emirate, the council was a war cabinet composing of the Modibo Adama himself as chief imam of Yula and Modibo Hamangurin as Gadi. The story begins 210 years ago, when Adama Emirate was established. It was established as an emirate and a constituent part of the Sokoto Caliphate in 1809. The jihad took off in Sokoto in 1804, and the caliphate began to be formed. As the jihad campaigns rose to a peak in the 1820s, the Lamidus Council grew to a five-member body consisting of the Waziri, Galadima, Ajia, Sarkinyagi, and al Ali. There were three phases of the jihad in Fombina. Um, I have to tell you uh, what Fombina means for you to understand the geographical perspective. Uh, Fombina uh, in full full day means south and um, or the southlands because the the recognized uh, Muslim states in that era before 1809 were the Borno Kingdom and the Bagarmi Kingdom so they were Fumbina was south of these kingdoms so this area was referred to as the southlands the tradition and constitution of the Sokoto Caliphate, after which the Emirate was modeled, required that the Waziri be assigned as the first minister of state. The essence of having the Waziri from a, being of close you know, kinship or blood ties is really to, to have somebody that you have uh, that trust, as I said, uh, somebody to see for you when you are blind, to wake you up when you... That, that, that role must be played by a trusted uh, personality, somebody very close to you. The Waziri of Adamawa is the most prominent office in Adamawa Emirate after the Lamido. He is the Prime Minister, a position that has been a permanent feature in the history of the Emirate. Hence, it has become a norm that only men of unflinching loyalty to the Lamido are appointed to the office of Waziri. Adamawa Sokoto Sunashiari, the same position. Waziri Adama, Waziri Nemi Kalifi, Yana Arabi Lamidoni. Waziri Borno, in Arabian Shehum Bornoni, Hako Zirin Sakoto, Kumo Zirin on the Skeda office. Kumo, a the administration, the Gakam messengers who are come Kowama, I catch a Gakashi Lamido, Akrakashi Suni. In Kachiri Lamido, she ne Shugabang Kim Makers, she ne Shugabang Hakimai, she ne Shugabang Emma Jalisa. Kim makers, Yam Majalisa, Hakimai, the Sora Ma I Katal Lamido. As Alin Yamaredma, Kolami the Abaka appointed. She is a Sahan, Haka Aborno, Haka Sokoto. Must I never pa? When does it be Lamido? When does it sugar bunchy as I be Lamido Kaibaka among Abu Bani? The Waziri did not fight in the jihad campaigns. He performed only civil duties and acted for the Lamido in his absence on his death or deposition. The first Waziri was Aliyu, the eldest son of al Qasim and the Lamido's nephew. Waziri Aliyu served in the office for 17 years until his death in 1890. His brother, Abdul Qadir Pati, then succeeded him as the second Waziri in 1891 after his appointment by Lamido Zubairu, the third Lamido Adamawa. The very, uh 
Lamedo Abba died, was also the year uh, Abdul Qadir died, Abdul Qadir party. So before Lamedo Abba died in 1924, he appointed the Wakili then, Muhammadu Malum Hamad, who was the Wakili, to become the Waziri. So this is the third Waziri. So Malum Hamman was perhaps the longest reigning, uh, the longest serving Waziri between 1924 to, between 1924 and 1957. Following the death of Waziri Malum, Mahmoud Ribadu, central minister in Nigeria's federal government, was appointed as the fourth Waziri. But due to his official schedules, the then Madaki Adamawa Bello Malabu served in his stead until Mahmoud Ribadu's demise in 1965. Bello Malabu served as Waziri for three more years before the late Lamido Ali Muzdafa appointed Muhammadu Bapalawan as the fifth Waziri Adamawa in 1968. Waziri Muhammadu was a great grandson to Lamido Zubairu, the third Lamido Adamawa, hence a cousin schoolmate and prime minister to Lamido Aliyu. He was Waziri for 32 years and died in the year 2000. After his death, the office of Waziri remained vacant for the next 10 years until Muhammad Abba Muhammad was appointed Waziri by the present Lamido Muhammadu Barkindu Aliyu Mustafa in the year 2010. Before his appointment, he was previously the Wali Adamawa for nearly six decades. He died at the ripe age of 91 in April 2017. The seventh Waziri Adamawa, Atiku Abubakar, was appointed on the 1st of June 2017 by Lamido Muhammadu Barkindu Ali Muzdafa. Lamido Barkindu Ali personal amini ne ko aboki na naturaki lokacin da baban sai yake da rai muna lancin mu biyu waziri babbalon Allah ya masar rasuwa na mi da ya taba min shani cewon jamilu ina da ina da sha'awa in your attitude, may bow at you, was the Riata Pomagana. Need a shimaka magana to a ma look at him bad daddy. Polko, your life here go be by life here, but a Maya so much on to come here the lamy dear father. ko kamar da mutane suka fada lallai ina cikin wanda ya aika domin ita ita sarauta ko mai kankantanta ba kankanuwa Atiku Abubakar born some 72 years ago in Jada grew up an ordinary child and had his first taste of western education in this local school like all his peers to alaka na da waziri mun tashi tare mun yi primary school tare a central primary a nan jada kuma mun zo senior primary to yana gaba na dai da shekara daya yawa to bayan mun gama primary a nan shi ina primary ya tafi provincial secondary school a yola daga can muna dai tare yana zuwa har ya gama secondary school na shi ya zo ya people teacher ma ganye muna tare to nakan mukan ji har wajen iyayensa a ganye mu har mu yi census tare da shi ne 1962 muka yi custodian a ganye a sugu muka zo mu yi conducting census ana shi yayi census na shi ma a Kojoli ni kuma nayi anan jada 
sensor da aka yi na 1962 wanda prime ya soke aka sake yi na 1963 wannan kan ba mu yi participating ba lokacin da muna gani yana yana muna saduwa da shi kullum aboki na ne mun ke kuna mu tafi sugu mu dawo ganye muna zuwa da muna visiting one another Apart from his birthplace in Jada, Atiku also spent much of his childhood in Kujali, where he has left indelible marks. Over the years, his compassion, doggedness, and service to his country and humanity became the sine qua non of his being catapulted to economic, political, and philanthropic limelight. New Waziri. Adama is a son of Kojoli. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because when our grandfather left Al Osman, therefore Sukoto, go and study Islamic education, they met with Atiku, that's the grandfather of the present Wazir of Adama. He stayed there by studying, they became friends, they lived together. And on his way coming back, he said he will follow him to this place. The why do you stay? I'm in Kojoli. I'm the village head of Kojoli, I'm Arro of Kojoli. He said then, I follow that place. You cannot leave him back. He said, okay. He took him with him. They came to Kojoli. They stayed together. They got married here. Yeah. They get back to Garba, that's the father of Atiku. And uh, Garba grew up. He himself got married here, yeah. gave back to uh, present Waziri, that's Atiku in Kojoli. That's why, if you can check back and you find out that all his documents, the seats in school, is written at Kujoli. When his mother got pregnant, she's from Jada. The father, Garba, married to a woman from Jada. So when the mother got pregnant, they took her back to her place. You know, that's our tradition, Fulani. If my mother go normally, she goes back to her parents' house and then give back there. And then when the child grow up, grow maybe after two, three months or four, sometimes they come back to their husband's house. That's our tradition. So she went back to Jada, get back to President Waziri. After some months, she came back to Kojit with him. Grew up here. As a child, as he grows, and uh, then there was uh, the um, uh, what, what do you call it, uh, Europeans that were occupying this territory. So they said all children should go to school. But now Atiku was forced to go to school. Then they took him to Jada for school. So he went to school at that Jada Central Palmer School. And at school from there, he proceeded to uh, Murtala, uh, the General Murtala Mohammed uh, College. That's why he did his school, school education. All that being possible. But his father died actually before he completed his school. Before he completed his primary school, then our father was a district head of Leko then, not, not uh, here. Then the, the village head now said, ah, if it's Atiku, so he should. It's on us. We should take good care of him. Being a son of us, we cannot leave him behind. Then they took that as a responsibility. Then they, they sponsored him until he finished his second school. He went to uh, Ebu Zaria, attended, studied uh, law, diploma in law. After completion, he went to custom, joined custom. That's all about Atiku. He's a son of a soil, yeah. He is a man that, how do you call it, articulated. That he, he loves his people and uh, 
uh, a, a love the poor and a, a, a like relationship with people. In fact, sometimes I feel like how will Atiku, as a vice president, coming to a remote area like Kojoli to come and see people. When he was a vice president, he do come here. I said, ah, how will you? He said, I know because you love your people, I want to be with your people, and you love uh, the, the poor, that's why you are here. Otherwise, we cannot bring you here because we are not up to that standard that you can visit us, but you do visit us. We thank you for that. I always say it. The new Waziri Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, Waziri Adamawa, is somebody who is extremely patient, kind hearted, and above all, he is somebody who always is eager and is always happy to assist others who are less privileged than himself. Uh, in Jada here, we don't quantify the contributions of the Waziri, Alaji Atiku Abakar. What we will tell you is he is always in all the facets of development. You find him in education. I'll give you an example that has built. I think is the only one government secondary school which is science-based and he built this and he equipped it to the satisfaction of everybody that is Atiku Abakar Science Secondary School. Maybe you are going around, you will go and see this school. It's there in education, in commerce, he has assisted so many people in building themselves in this place. So we don't always quantify his contributions in this place. He has contributed a lot and in fact I will tell you that without fear, fear of contradictions that he is the backbone of all our youth here who are, who are, who will say there are somebody else here has touched the lives of young people a lot because there are things that he has done that is assisting the small, the younger ones who are more especially the applicants. They are always uh, there and uh, people are assisting them. I believe he is also there. He has assisted greatly in uh, encouraging the youth in this area. He has built schools, Islamic schools, he has built a science secondary school here in Jada. When he was opportune to be the vice president of this country, he, has, he had renovated the roads starting from Mayo Butler up to Tongo. He, has, he initiated extending the road from Genye Tongo to Jamtari. At the same time, he was almost at the verge of implementing the construction of the security road from Ganye Kojoli Karlai, but their time was short. Just briefly, I can say Atiku had done a lot of developmental issues in this chapter. The announcement of Atiku Abu Bakr as the seventh Waziri Adamawa generated a lot of positive reaction from within and outside the Emirate. Paul Kode, Yaba, I didn't contribution. Yaba, the contribution of Masalauta. Yaba, Ubansa Bia. Yana, Aulan Kamwasa. Yai Zuria, the Gidan. Abun de Tashi Shini Agaba. They can. I sunang to Raki at Yuko Abu Baka. Shakaratala Tinder Beer. I bought Adamaka de Tayaba. You were in the Amakabun Namuta Nebus and Eva. Not at Yuko the Alibaba. In a chicken Abun de Bunkasa. Sodan Sarautu Nakasana Akadinga Sarautu Emboko de Mene, Yokoa, and Atoko Kali as Okusa, the Salikinsa, and Natashi Kaza, Aikaza, Aikaza, the Natasha Achiki. 
wannan ma yana cikin abin da ya kawo ya taimakawa a ƙasa maganar taimako a ƙasa sunan Atiku kan akwai na akwai ta ai kuma shi mallakan kowanne sarki ne albarkar lamido the title of wadiri is one of the highest titles we have in the emirates the president wadiri of adama said is a man of integrity he is a successful service he assists people and he is for the people from his appointment as the seventh waziri till date a combination of his attributes as a leader and his vast experience as politician and philanthropist seem to have formed a convergence at a time place and situation such as this when the people of adamawa and indeed nigeria look up to him to make the country work again from an orphan in jada growing up becoming nigeria's vice president waziri adamawa and a presidential hopeful atiku has certainly earned his place as an asset not only to adamawa emirate but the entire northeast nigeria and the country at large This honor and responsibility seems not to be lost on the seventh waziri whose son Aliyu begets the title of Turaki Adamawa which he held from 1982